Hey everybody, welcome back to 504, and now we are going to explore World 278, the world of the restless big landowners with production needs. And hopefully this time I won't run into any battery scares. You can see I'm pretty much completely covered with cables here. I normally hate filming with my power plugged in, but my batteries are still dead. So let's just jump right into it. So things have changed. Right off the bat, you can see things have changed significantly. Instead of map five, like you saw last time, we're now using map three. Why is that? Well, the, the, you know, the race wants map five, the production wants map five, but big landowners wants map three, and it's a higher priority, so we switch over to map three. Also, you'll notice that even though we're still doing production, we no longer have the production. The production goods have been removed. We're not making lumber or fish or food or whatever anymore. We are instead producing something else with our plants because the production has gone from how we make our money to the little bonus thing. Now, and we score points not by producing a lot of goods, not by having majorities, but by racing. And that means we, even though at the same time that we lost our goods, and we lost all those turn order you know, scoring cards, we have gained the city cards. We are now in a mad dash race to explore this world and claim, well not claim, but visit enough of the cities. Now in a two player game, how many is, I think we have to, as soon as one player has visited, what is it, nine? Uh, actually it'll say right here in the rules, on the other side. So, game end. Depending on the number of players, the game ends at the end of the round after at least one player places residence on nine city cards in a two-player game. Eight or seven if it's a three or four-player game. So, we are racing to be the first to have arrived at nine cities. Now, of course, we start at a city. I'm starting out over here in city two. Jen is starting way up there at city five. And it's interesting, the rules for this one said that the choice of capital was reverse player order. So I'm the first player, but Jen got to choose first. And she chose this one way up here for, well, uh, we'll see if it was a, a good reason. Also, Jen starts with 80 bucks. And I start with 60 bucks, because I'm the first player, she's the second player. Right. Because it's interesting, as I was building this map, I ended up it, ra totally randomly creating a solid wall. We cannot move from here to here. Um, you know, to get to this city, you got to go all the way around to the other side and vice versa. And so Jen figured since winning this game is all about claiming as much land as possible as quickly as possible, Jen figured she'd start and she's just going to race around the track effectively. But she, um, she only has to get to nine, so she's never going to bother to get all the way up here, this one that's a million miles away from everything. She needs to get here, 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 here here, here, and if she does it before me, she'll trigger the end of the game, and at the end of the game, whoever's made it to the most cities wins. Me, I went a different way. I'm kind of splitting right down the middle, and I mean, I'm trying to race to get to nine cities as well, but I can go left or right, and I can split my attentions. Jen, she chose this because she's just thinking about, she just wants a simple path to follow. I came down here, because even though I'm going to have to split, and you maybe not be quite as focused in my expansion, I was closer to more grasslands. And that's going to help me with my um, with, with, with my production needs, or I'm sorry, with with my with my income because I make money off of majorities. And since I've got four grasslands right next to me, I could potentially start making a lot of money right out of the gate. Whereas Jen, she's in a little bit slightly more varied area. Well, I mean, it'll probably work out for her too. We'll see how well it goes. But anyway, um, and heck, maybe I chose wrong. I could have started in the same place as she. And you know, we could both race, although the tricky thing is, um, and since we're, we don't have a war module, it's not like we can fight each other or try to kill each other as we're doing it, but there would still be a tricky thing. If we were both in the same area, each tile can only have one production plant. So we would be fighting tooth and nail over production plants if we both started in the same spot. And now that would potentially make it a much tighter race, definitely, uh, with lots more ones upmanship um, because, you know, hey, uh, whoever goes first would probably, in fact, actually, wow. You know, think about that. If I really wanted to kind of stifle Jen, I could start out here because I'm the first player. I could grab these production areas because, remember, as we saw in the last game, building production plants in green or yellow is much easier than forest or um, ocean or mountains. And you know, these are going to be the places Jen makes her first production plants. If I started here, I'd be able to grab them before her and she would have to, wow, there are no other easy production plants in that area. Wow, I didn't even think about that. That's actually kind of dangerous for Jen to be there. 
Maybe, actually think about it a bit more, she wanted to start over here. But see, but she didn't want to do this because she didn't want to have to, once she reaches here, she doesn't have to make the long run because th this is just like at a dead end. So she still wants to go there. But then, you know, that's a danger. She had to choose first. And so it's an advantage for me to let her choose. She gets more money, so she'll have more workers right out the gate. But I get to choose based on her. I could also start here if I wanted. Um, wow. And then if I grab these before she does, that will really, what the heck? I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, we're, we're going to be right neck and neck. I changed my mind. I was going to start down here because I'd have access to a bunch of places I could build. But instead of that, I'm going to try and choke Jen off a little bit. We'll see how well it works out. This is the first time I've played World 278. Who knows if this will actually work? But let's go with it. So actually, Jen's in City 5. I'm in City 4. So we're set up. We're ready to go. I've got my money. Jen's got her money. And we start playing. And largely, the turn order structure isn't really going to change very much. And if I flip the deck over, I can see, well, you know, um, there, there's nothing about, you know, 3, 3, 3. There's nothing about the, there's nothing about changing player order or doing auctions in phase 1 or 2. So, phase A, in, uh, first of all, like before, if we ever want to, we can pick up our capital and move it to a different city. And that will definitely be something we do because, you know, it, the best place you can spawn people is in your capital. And once Jen's expanded over here, she's going to want to move a capital, say, over here, so she can spawn more people and keep pushing forward. But right now, at the beginning of the game, there's no reason to really move our capitals. And, um, right. So, and actually, and you can't move anyway, because for me to move my capital, I'd have to have a settlement over here, at which point, hey, I could swap if I wanted. But at the beginning of the game, we can't. So that's it for 3A. There's no 3Bs. Um, but then we get to 3C, um, and which is a special rule because production is in the bonus, starting with the second round. So this doesn't affect us in the first round, but from the second round on, we are strictly limited into how many new population meeples we can buy. Normally, you can buy as many as you can afford and put on the board, but now we can only put buy two plus the number of plants. So getting production plants doesn't make us lumber or food. It allows us, the more production plants we have, the more people we could hire. And we need to hire people to spread over the board quick because we're in a race to claim as much of the board as possible. So production is hugely important for that. Um, and majorities are important for money, and you need money to hire people and also to build more plants to increase, et cetera, et cetera. So it all is tied together, but in a very different way than it was before. But anyway, so we're going to go straight on to, I'm the first player, I'm going to go right to 3C, and there's no special rules for 3C at all, so it's just going to be normal buying. And I'm going to spend all of my monies, or do I? Because uh, I could just get six guys, put them in this town, one, Two, three, four, five, six. All right, so and I could save some money if I want to make two plants. Actually, you know what? I think I'm only going to get five. So I'm going to save some money so I'll be able to get a plant. Right, and so now let's get going. And remember, and like before, because we still have the race module and we still have the production, our residents are in a hurry. So we can still move faster than we can normally where, um, you yeah, know, because we can, we can zip past, which I'm going to do. All right, first guy. This guy's going to move in here. And hey, I've made a settlement. And I am on the board. All right, and then this guy says, oh, I'm so tired. It took me forever to move there. And this guy says, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to hurry. I'm going to pass you. Boom, I've got my second settlement. And now this guy says, oh, well, I'll come. I'll, I'll skip past you and come there. And now I've got these two guys. Next turn, I, um, oh, but right. No, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll have spent all my money. Durr. So next turn, these guys will get up, and they'll make production factories for me. And I'll be able to produce guys faster than Jen will. Because I have, you know, Jen could go in here and she could expand too, but she knows because turn order is not going to change like it did last game. I am all, every round, I'm going to be the first player. I'm suffering for the fact that I have less money, but I'm making up for it by the fact that I've just really put a crimp on Jen because she took a bit of a risk and then I muscled in. So, but anyway, I've still got two more guys. There's no reason to have them come down here, but I do, I mean, this is about, so I'll have this guy come over here and hey, I made a settlement in this city or uh, on this mountain, boom. And then this guy says, oh, I'll just come there. And he's exhausted, and that's it. So I am done. Let's see. And now I get to my income, right? Because I've done all my residence actions, that which was step 3D. There is no transport trolley because we don't have pickup and deliver. Um, so, uh, and there's no factories because we don't have privileges. We're not fighting. So now I get to go to my income.
And uh, my income, which is based on my majorities, well, what I do, it, it gives me a bit more, it, it actually, between this page and the other page, it explains. Basically, I look every place that I've got majorities. I've got a majority here, and I've got a majority here. And I make 10 bucks for every space of majority. Now remember, of course, because I've got a capital, I always get 20 bucks. That always happens. But I get 20, and then 30, 40, 50. So actually, I made 50 bucks. Pretty good, which I'm going to be able to use next turn to buy more stuff. So I, I have scored um, because I took advantage of those majorities. And um, right, and that was it. Now it is Jen's turn. And right off the bat, she's got, she's going to make up for the fact that I started first. She's got eight guys to my five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, everybody to the capital. Now it's interesting. You cannot put more than nine guys into a capital tile and more than seven guys in any other tile. So Jen's starting tile is almost completely full. And so Jen would like to muscle in there, but she's not going to be able to do it. So I think Jen, but she, Jen does want to have majorities so that, and, you know, and Jen's not going to be, well, we'll see how it goes. Jen's going to start expanding. She'll expand into this forest. Boom. And this guy is gone. He has settled down. And so Jen is on the board for force. This guy says, I will come and visit you and oh, I'm exhausted. And now this guy says, oh, I'm in a hurry. So he rushes on past and Jen has gotten her second forest. So Jen is starting to make her own majority. So she'll make some money. And this guy says, oh, so, you know, this whole piggybacking and kind of daisy chaining off each other is a really common thing you see in games where guys are in a hurry. If they're not in a hurry, this guy wouldn't have been able to come over. He just would have been stuck here, and, you'd, and they'd slowly move along. Generally, um, you either have maps where the guys are in a hurry, or they are maps where you can build roads. And then roads let you move as far as you want, as fast as you want, but you got to spend time building them. But anyway, so this guy came over here, and now this guy says, oh, I will piggyback off of you, and I will come to this desert. And so now Jen is queen of the desert. And this guy says, oh, and I, made it. I didn't make it. I'm so tired. And then this guy says, Boom! Jen has reached a city. Okay, uh, so she has moved up on the city. So she's got one, two, three majorities, and she's still got another guy. So I think Jen will have this other, although, here's the thing, Jen could go for that city? No, 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 Jen's not going to do that. Instead, Jen came here. She'll wait on the city. If she had gone to the city, this guy who claimed it would have come over here to mark that she had claimed city number one. But instead, Jen's going to come over there, and then this last guy is going to rush all the way over here so that Jen will be able to make a plant in that zone, because she only needs one guy to make a plant there. In the desert, she, um, right, say, oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, in the desert, you can't make a plant unless it's a uh, fish. So Jen could make a plant here for fisheries, but she would need two guys. She needs two guys here, two guys here, two guys here, but she can make a plant with only one guy there. So she'll be able to do that next turn. But anyway, so let me double check. Jen got two forests, one desert, and all right. Oh, and she has um, gotten one. So there we go. So Jen has used all her guys. Now she makes her money. As always, she makes 20, 30, 40, 50. Jen also made 50 bucks, just like I did with her different majorities. And uh, so that was it for 3F. And now we go on to phase four, but there are no dividends and there is no phase five. And you can see that here as well. So it's my turn again. And off I go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend, I got some money. And now I need to save at least 10 bucks of this because this plant will be free. This plant is going to cost me 10 bucks. So that means I think I'll save 10 and I'll hire four guys. One, two, three, four. And I'll just go on ahead and put them all right up here in my capital, which starts me a little bit further. Okay, and, so that's nice. Oh, by the way, Jen forgot one thing. She's rushed right by. Jen's gonna have to get a settlement in my capital if she wants to finish this game. So, but probably after this guy's gone, he might move over here, claim that thing, and then this guy would uh, go over there and get that capital. Because the guys Jen leaves behind, she has to have a use for them as well because it'll take forever for them to catch up on the, the leading edge of the race. But anyway, so I've just hired four guys, and now I can start doing actions. Oh, because all my other guys stand up. Bippity boppity boop. Okie dokie. Is that right? Yes. So this guy is going to lie right back down, as is that guy, and it's going to cost me 10 bucks to build. My first plant was free, and my second one cost me... 10 bucks. So that increases. Oh, but shoot, shoot, shoot. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um, I forgot. 
Remember, starting with the second round, I can only hire two guys plus however many plants I had. So I could only hire two guys. So two of these guys did not get hired. That's why I'm building plants. So I only have four guys to use, not six guys. Anyway, these guys are going to make plants. One of them costs 10 bucks. And um, now, next turn, I'll be able to hire one, two, three, four guys. So I'm going to need 40 bucks to be able to hire as many people as possible. And so what else am I going to do? All right, so I've, I've got that. And I've still got three guys who can make moves. Next turn, when this guy gets up, I'm just going to have him move into Jen's territory so I can claim that city, or you know, visit that city, which is one of my steps. And this is interesting. So this guy, he could move over here, and I could get into the desert, and I would get, take away that majority for Jen. Or I could say, hey, this guy is going to come here, this guy is going to come here, and this guy is going to do nothing. He's just going to pass. And what that means is, Right, so I've got one, two majorities. I'm still going to make 20 plus 30. I'm still going to make 50 bucks. But now that I've got three guys in this mountain space, I'll be able to make a plant in that area. So I'll be able to make a third plant, which is tough. Um, you know, I need to, but I've got all those guys in that area, so why not? Now, alternatively, I could say to heck with that. And I could have this guy move on, and then this guy would come in here. And then this guy would come over here. But I, you know, I think I'm just going to make the plant. I'm going to focus on trying to get my production capacity up quick. While Jen, maybe she'll just continue to stream on and, and take an early lead in that regard. So anyway, so that's it. Now, um, I'm done with all my actions. All my guys are laying down. I get my income, which is going to be 20. Um, I mean, majority error. So 20, um, 30, 40, 50. I make 50 bucks again. Okay. And now it's Jen's turn. She can only buy two guys because she doesn't have any plants. So she gets 30 and change. And here's the two guys she buys. Now, Jen can only put her guys up here, all the way at the end of the world. So now that's a problem. Because now, after Jen gets guys, all these guys are going to stand up. And it's going to take forever for these guys to walk all the way over here. But you know, Jen can put them, I'm sorry, Jen can put them up back there. But, they, but Jen can also put, she can, since there's two meeples or two pieces of wood here, Jen can put both of them right there at the leading edge. That's what Jen's going to do. And then she's going to stand everybody back up. All right. They got knocked down, but they got up again. And so now, Jen's done buying because she could not buy anymore. Now Jen's going to get to work. This guy is going to make her her first plant so she can start hiring more guys. And he's done. Then um, this guy is going to come over here, which gave Jen another piece of terrain. And now Jen has tied me. She's cutting into my income. She, she's not, she was not making any money in it. Now I don't make any money in grasslands either because Jen's just moved in there. And now Jen can move this guy over here so she can make another plant next turn. Or she can move over here to get into this city, which she needs to do. But you know what? Now she's not going to do that. She's going to come over here. He's just going to stay there waiting to build another plant next turn. All right. But Jen's still got more guys. This guy is going to say, hello, big city. So Jen has just moved into region one, and she has pulled into the lead on cities. Remember, we're racing. Jen has gotten her second city. She's still got more guys. She will have this guy move forward here, and then this guy take a pass. Because then, next turn, when they both wake up, there'll be two guys here. Jen can make a, um, a generating thing in this forest. So, so that'll help her in the future. So Jen has used all of her guys. Now it's time for her to get her income. She gets 20 for her capital. Um, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Jen made 70 bucks. Boppity bop. Oh, whoops. Right, no, that was Jen's first things that she'd built. Right, okay. So now it's my turn again. And so I can start hiring. And remember, I could hire two, three, four. I, so I'm going to pay 40 bucks to hire four guys. One, two, three, four. And um, where am I going to put them? Now. There's, f there's four things here, so I could put up to four in this zone, but no zone can have more than seven meeples. So I could put up to three in this leading edge zone. And then this other guy would have to go someplace else, which is not great. That's actually kind of a problem. I mean, I can come back here, but then it's going to take longer for him to move forward. But you know what? These guys are going to lay down, so he'll be able to move past them. So I think that's fine. So I've hired my four guys. Now everybody else stands up, and I'll start doing my actions. First of all, this guy will move into Jen's backyard. And so I have just moved into city number five. Hooray. Okay. And, oh, and these guys stood up as well. Okay. So now then. 
these guys fall right back down again so they can make me another plant and it's expensive to build plants in the mountains but i need to build plants to up my production all right so and now the nice thing is i've got some guys so this guy's in a hurry he can skip right past and i have just claimed my first desert so i've taken away jen's majority over there and now this guy can come over here and this guy can skip past him to come over here, and I have just gotten into City 1. So I have caught up with Jen on cities. At the start of my next turn, I can swap and move my capital over here so that I can spawn guys, a bunch of guys, in this region. Jen can do the same thing because we both reached that capital. So that's really interesting. So, okay, and I've still got two guys. This guy will come over, he, he can zip past. I'm going to stop right here because two guys can make a fishery zone for me. Now, it's interesting. Remember in the last module, I wanted to make a wide variety of goods. Now, I don't care because I'm not generating goods. I just want more plants so I can hire more people so I can move faster because this is a very breakneck, fast-paced race. I've still got one guy lying down on the job, and I will have him just kind of skip here and come over here. All right, so I'm in this zone, and that gave me a grassland. So I've got majority on grassland again. Hooray, I'll make some money off my majorities. Okay, now is that right? Let me double check. I've got one, two, three grasslands. I've got, oops, both Jen, I forgot. We both have one city, so we're tied on that. Oh, Jen should have made 10 more bucks because she had another city before I did. So Jen, she had a majority of cities. I forgot to do that. Let's see, and I've got one mountain still, and I've got one desert. Yeah, and I've got no four, so there we go. So, I'm done. I'm not going to make my money, which is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I just made 60 bucks. Bip, bop. Although the interesting thing is, I have not really set myself up to build another plant. No, I have. I'm going to build another plant over here next turn with these two guys. And these guys are going to rush ahead past them. Okay. So, that was it. Now it is Jen's turn. And the first thing, remember, at the beginning of her turn, she can do this. She is going to swap. So this has now become, um, this is her capital, so now she can spawn guys here, and you know these guys can stream over that way, and guys can keep coming this way. So Jen is going to hire. She um, can build um, her second and her third plant. Now her second plant's going to cost her 10, her third plant's going to cost her 20. So she's going to need 30 bucks for building plants, and they just get more and more expensive, because Jen's going to build a plant there and there. So, the and how many can she hire? She can hire one, two, three. So she can still spend 30 to hire three dudes. That's going to leave her 50 left over for her next plant. All right, so she's hiring three dudes. And she will, oh, where will she spawn them? She'll spawn all of them right here in her brand new shiny capital. This guy's going to be able to move over. Well, no, this guy's going to stay. This guy's going to make a thing. Yeah, because she needs to get over to that city as well. But this guy, he can make a thing, and then when he gets back up, he can take this city. So these guys, they're going to start moving south. Although Jen's got to remember, she's got to get over there too. But anyway, so Jen's hired all her stuff. Now her guys stand back up. Bippity boppity, bippity boppity. And so Jen is going to start making some moves. This guy is going to build a plant. This is Jen's second plant. It costs her 10 bucks. These two guys are going to make a plant. This is her third plant. It costs her 20 bucks. All right. And then she's still got some more guys. This guy will go here, and Jen has just claimed some uh, deserts. This guy will come over here and get exhausted. This guy will pi piggyback off and come over here, and Jen has just claimed another grassland, so Jen has taken away my majority. All right, so, oh, and Jen's got one more guy. What's this guy going to do? This guy will skippity-dippity and come over here, so he's ready to get up, or he could build a plant there. Cool, cool, cool. So that's it for Jen. For income time, she gets 20. Plus, not, not in the lead there. Wait, hold on a second. No, Jen just got another one, didn't she? Jen has one, two, three. No, Jen only has three, and I've got four. So, Jen's got one, two, three. So, Jen just made 50 bucks. All right. And so, that was it. And now it is my turn again. And I can now buy one, two, three. I can buy five guys. So, I will. I'll spend 50 bucks to buy five guys. And you can see I'm starting to build my army of explorers here or my army of conquerors, or whatever you want to call them, my army of merchants. And actually, the, uh, to be fair, the game explains who these are. And there's on, no matter when you make a world, you've got these three chapters that actually give thematic reasons why all the rules exist the way they do. Now, like Jen, 
I could have changed my capital, which I think I was going to do. I was also going to jump up here to the front line, so I can just bring all five of these guys right here. Although I could put one guy right there, because I, I need to bump over to this as well. So Jen and I, because we've started in the same place, you know, and the thing is, I was at a disadvantage. Jen started with more um, guys than me, but because I locked this off, I was able to neutralize that advantage, so I could keep in lockstep with her, which is good, because I'm the first player. Um, so, uh, yeah, so anyway. So I, I brought in, four, put four guys in this capital, one guy over here, because that's the most I could put over there, and now I get to start going again. And this guy is just going to make me another plant. Well done, Mr. Man. And so this is what? My what? One, two, three, four. This is my fourth plant, which cost me $30. And oh dear, now I'm almost broke. All right. And, but I haven't claimed any more land. And I'm going to, okay, so this guy is going to be in a hurry. Piggy pack off of this guy, come over here and get me in here. And now I'm, now I'm going to be making 50 bucks off this majority. So that's pretty nice. Okay. I think maybe I've been, I mean, because basically I score points equal to how many steps I have, but there are maximums. On grassland, no matter how high I get up on majority, I can, I can score no more than 50. Same for cities. The forest, the best I can do is 45. The, uh, Food, the, the farmland is 40, and then 35 for mountains, and 30 for deserts. So I might not have been scoring this correctly, because it's not like this only gets me 20, because Jen's too behind. This gets me 50 for being in the majority. So I'm going to make 50 off of this, plus 60 off of that. I think maybe I've been scoring that wrong. But anyway, we'll just keep going. Um, right, and I've still got a bunch more guys. Oh, whoops, these guys are supposed to stand back up. Hello, 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 hello. So I've got all these other guys waiting to do stuff. Let's see here. Now, what are they going to do? Um, Because they need to catch up. They need to get to the front lines. These cities are done, yeah, so I think we're done. So I think, I think I'm gonna have this guy just move here so he gets exhausted, because now he's exhausted. This guy can skip past. Oh wait, no, this guy can, uh, uh, you're, oh, you're busy? Okay, I'll keep going. Oh, you're busy? Okay, I'll keep going. I'll come over here, and now this guy, who's way off, can go one, two, three, boom! I have just made it to city number eight, and I've got another majority. Where I, so I, right now, at the end of my turn, I'm gonna make 80, 90 bucks in majorities. And I've still got some guys. So you can see, the longer this goes, the faster it escalates. It's just getting bigger and faster. Let's see here. So, and I've still got all of these guys who need to get up, get on up. Uh, well, the interesting thing is, if I wanted, no, I, can't, I don't think I can create a settlement here. Right, you, you, you may create trading posts, but we don't have trading posts. So I can't, I was thinking I can knock, Oh, well, I, yeah, you know what? These two guys, they're just going to take a nap, which is going to let me build a fishery. Because you can't build in the desert, but since it's next to water, I'm going to build a fishery here, which requires two guys, and I've got another. And now that is my one, two, three, four. This is my fifth. <gasps> but I only have 10 bucks. Oh, I cannot build it. I cannot build my fifth, because that would cost me 40 bucks. So I cannot build that here, because I'm broke. So you can see... I'm going to have to start making decisions about, do I keep on, now have I built enough of a production pipeline and I just need to use all my guys to stream forward um, or, or what? Anyway, so I could keep these guys here so they could build, but since I've got, I've, you know, oh, whoops, I forgot to put my marker there. There we go. I think I'm just going to keep pushing forward. This guy goes skippity dip and falls down there and that gets me into the desert and hey, I'm on the desert. And then this guy says, oh, well, uh, nice of you to come by. And I'll sip, and then I'm even higher. Jen's never going to catch me on that majority. Although, I can only make 50. Even though I'm up to 60, I can only make 50. This guy will go, oh, hello. Although, no, he'll come over here, boom. And now I'm in city number two. And that's another majority. And I've still got, right, um, these guys haven't done anything. I need to get over here. So this guy will just come over, and boom, that gets me another desert. And do I leave these guys back so they can build me another? You know, I think I will. I'll, 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 I'll want at least one more plant so I can be hiring more people. So I'll just leave them there. So I'm passing. Everybody's knocked down. Now I make my money. I get 20. Um, plus that is four. So that's 60. That's 110. 120 bucks. Wow. So I now definitely have enough money to, to make another couple of plants. This guy, these guys will make plants, etc., etc. So that's it. Now it's Jen's turn. She gets to hire, she has a hundred bucks she on her. She gets to hire one, two, 
three, she can hire up to five guys. So she'll spend 50 to hire five guys. She'll put them, well, she'll have to figure out where to put them. And she needs to think about where to put them because um, you know these guys are gonna stand up. She can't quite reach this. And that was kind of a bummer. She didn't quite reach it. So this guy's gonna stand up. So she's gonna have to make another chain to get around to there. So she's gonna have to knock guys over. Um, although this guy will get knocked over basically to make her another plant, as will this guy. So these guys are both going to make plants in those areas. Although, does she have the money? How much money is she going to need to make two plants? Because she's got what? She's got one, two, three. So her fourth and her fifth plant are going to cost her 70 bucks. She's only giving herself 50. So she will hire two less guys so that she has the 70 bucks she needs to be able to build both of these plants. All right, and she'll put all these guys at the uh, cutting edge, she'll put, she'll put one guy over, nah, she'll put them all at her, her cutting edge village. Now everybody else stands up. Ah, if I can stand them up. Okay, and so now Jen can get going. This guy comes over here, gets into city number two, and what is it, this guy, builds a plant. Oh wait, oh no, 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 this guy doesn't do that. This guy stays where he was and builds a plant here. That's what it was. And this guy stays where he is and builds a plant there. So those two plants cost her 70 bucks. So she's broke, but she'll be able to hire more people. And now that both these guys are knocked down, this guy can hip skip and there he goes. And so Jen has made it into this. And right, there we go. Let's see. So Jen is going to have this guy come over here and get into city number eight. So we're neck and neck at this point. And so we can both, we'll both be able to move our capitals over here now or leave them where they are. And so Jen, this guy is going to come over here and give her a mountain. So he's out. And so now Jen has taken away. Oh, oh, shoot. There we go. So Jen is, now I'm not getting that 10 bucks because of the mountain. And then this guy's going to come over here and the next turn when he gets up, he'll get into that city because he needed, you know, Jen kept that guy behind to get into that city. She hadn't forgotten about that. And let's see, she's still got two more guys standing and she's got two guys lying down. This guy will go bippity bippity boop over here to this desert that I just took, which puts her even further on the desert. Hey, wait a minute, I've got a desert, so I should be on the desert also. There we go. And then she's got one more guy, and this guy will go zippity dippity dupe. So he's in position to get this city next turn. So Jen's done. What's her money? No majority, no majority. So 20, 30, 40, plus her 20 is um, 60. Wow. 20, uh, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Jen is not making enough money to support her expansion. Wow. Okay. So that was it, and now it's my turn again. And I need to decide what I'm going to do. Um, Jen's already made a plant, so this guy won't be able to make a plant here, which is too bad, because that means he's going to stand up. But you know what I think? I'll be the first to ex um, expand, and now this is the tip of my sword as I continue to move in. This guy is going to... Oh, I don't know what he's going to do. As I've, got a, I've left a trail of bodies behind me. These guys all need to start catching back up. Um, and But I can still hire more. And you know what? I think I'm going to stop right there because that was just a quick, we're about halfway around. We're kind of neck and neck. I am definitely doing better on majority, so I'm making more money than Jen, which means I can afford to make more plants to increase my production. So it's anybody's game at this point. But that was an example of how radically this changed. Just by using the exact same modules, but just rearranging them, you can see radically different game. And now I'm trying to decide, am I going to do a third run through? Because you guys have seen production, you've seen majorities, you've seen racing, but you haven't seen privileges, you haven't seen warfare, you haven't seen stock markets, you haven't seen pick up and deliver, you haven't seen explore. Uh, I think, yeah, that's 679. So there's a whole bunch more you could see. You know what? I'm going to take a little breather. Um, and then I'll decide if I'm going to try and film a third run through of a third thing. But uh, either way, hit the eye, follow the show notes. You'll be able to see at some point in the future whether I decided to do a third run through. And you can follow that to go to an extended, extended if there is one, or you can go to final thoughts. Your choice in five, four, three, two, one.